the ability to attract higher paying clients. Yes, you can do it even if you're like, oh my goodness, who's gonna pay those prices? You're in luck because we're gonna get into it right now. Hey, hey, Courtney Sanders here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to me, I'm a full-time certified seven-figure life and business coach, as well as wife and mom. I wear all the hats and do all the things, but I gotta be honest with you, right? I've been coaching for a very long time. I've been coaching full-time since 2016, and even when I was coaching on the side in 2015, I wasn't really able to quit my job, and I wasn't able to see the scale that I am now and hit multi-six and even seven figures until I did this one thing. And if you're wondering what that one thing is, it is the ability to achieve attract higher paying clients. Yes, when I first got started in my coaching journey, I made the mistake that many uh, newbie coaches make and I thought, oh, because I'm beginning and I'm new and you know, I just need to get my name out there. I started with a lot of low ticket products. I had eBooks, I had, you know, low ticket courses and very small dollar coaching programs. And I couldn't figure out, you know, while I was seeing some success and getting people to say yes, financially it was, you know, very difficult. It was very up and down. And I was taking on expenses in my business, even while I was working full time, where I started to have to hire people. You know, I had an in-house graphic designer and a part-time customer service person who would, you know, answer emails for me while I was at work. And I was like, man, you know, yeah, I'm making sales, but between these expenses and these sales, it's gonna be very difficult for me to quit my job. So I wasn't really able to quit my job until I started attracting those higher paying clients. And then things really took off when I was able to attract premium clients. And so with that, I wanted to do this video about how to attract high paying clients and the secret behind it, because I find that if you really wanna scale your coaching business to a significant level, that is going to be a key component. And yes, you can do it, even if you're like, oh my goodness, who's gonna pay those prices? So. If you wanna learn more about that process of attracting high paying clients, you're in luck because we're gonna get into it right now. All right, let's talk about some strategies for attracting high paying clients. All right, the first strategy is you have to talk to high paying clients, yes. I find that a lot of people have this uh, warped mentality that like no one out there is paying for coaching at those prices and nobody's gonna pay because they're not talking to high paying clients, right? There are people at every level in every industry, right? Um, I think for instance, my husband, right? He loves shoes and you know, he knows the, the latest Jordans or whatever, this like special edition Nike, whatever. He's always like ordering random shoes online. I'm not a high paying client when it comes to like sneakers or uh, Jordans or these limited edition Nike shoes. So for me, if Nike was talking to me about, you know, $500 or a thousand dollar limited edition, Jordan, LeBron James, whatever sneakers, I would be the wrong person to talk to. I'm gonna be like, um, I'll give you 200 bucks, <laughs> right, for those sneakers. Imagine if Nike then lowered their prices because little old me said like, oh, I don't think it's worth it. Well, that's what a lot of you coaches are doing. You are talking to people who are not even high paying clients and then you're saying, oh man, I need to lower my prices because nobody has the money and nobody wants to pay these prices. That is not the case. And so one of the first strategies that you're gonna have to master is identifying the premium end of your market and talking to those people about your offer because quiet as is kept, the premium end of the market is looking to pay you because they don't just value spending money, they value value, right? They're looking for high value and they understand that they have to pay a price in order to get that. So if you communicate your high value to high paying clients, guess what? It's a match, right? So the first strategy is make sure that you are actually talking to premium or high paying clients, not just the mass market or the lower end of the market, because they're going to talk you out of your pricing. All right. The next strategy is you have to have a premium package. And I spoke about this a little bit when I talked about what high ticket clients are looking for. They're not just looking to spend a bunch of money for, you know, spending money's sake. They're looking for high value. And the key thing is it doesn't matter what it is that you do. There is a demographic of people for whom what you do is extremely high value. And so you want to think about what is the value that you are offering and for whom would it be of higher value and make sure that you are creating packages that really support them, right? Let's think about, uh, say, time management. Let's say that you are a time management coach. Now, you could be a time management coach for undergrads, right? And there's definitely value for undergrads learning time management so that they can get through their degrees and they can get through their coursework. But imagine if you offer time management, let's say, um, for PhD candidates. What if you offer time management, I don't know, for um, attorneys or time management for working parents? Like, already, you can see that for these demographics, 
This is something that is of higher value just by virtue of who they are and what they have going on. Now your time management strategies might for the most part be the same for both groups, right? You maybe teach a certain methodology for, uh, you know, college students. And then when you're working with attorneys or, or uh, working parents or whatever it is, maybe it's the same methodology. It's just tweaked a little bit for who it is that you're dealing with. But again, these people are willing to pay more, not by virtue of what you're offering, but because of who they are and what your offering can do for them. So make sure that you are also thinking about what is the value of my offer and how can I package that up in a premium way? All right, I have more of that came from, but first I wanna hear from you. What high ticket clients are you trying to attract? Share in the comments below. All right, so the next thing that you need to do or the next strategy that you need to master if you wanna attract high paying clients is you need to create premium packaging, okay? So notice in the second part, I talked about creating premium packages, right? Now we're creating premium packaging. That means what does it look like? How does it feel? Like how do you present your offer, right? Premium packages are what is the value inside of the offer, but premium packaging is how are you presenting the offer? And I say this all the time because people are out here and they're like, okay, I believe you, I believe in my value. I'm gonna go out here and you know sell some high ticket coaching packages. And then the stuff is just you know slap dash together. It doesn't look good. Their personal branding is not really together. And I get it, you know, I think for years people have always said like, oh, you know, it doesn't matter your branding, you know, just, just get out there, right? And I think part of that was because a lot of people can get caught up in imposter syndrome and they can spin their wheels for ages and never take action. And so while I think that is well-intentioned advice, um, your packaging does matter, right? Your branding does matter. So you don't wanna not take action because you have nothing, right? You can get on Canva and create something that looks decent, but understand that if you are looking to sell things at a higher level, it might require that you make the investment at a higher level, right? Here's a fun fact for you. My logo, which I'm like obsessed with and my branding and all of that, cost me five figures. <laughs> yeah, five figures for branding, okay? And I was willing to pay that because I knew at the time when I was rebranding, I knew where I was going. I knew what I was trying to achieve. I knew the levels that I wanted to grow my brand, not just in the um, you know space dealing with individuals, but also in the space with corporations and organizations and you know maybe be on TV one day or something. And so I was like, ah, my branding really needs to feel at that level. It needs to really feel premium. And so I was prepared to pay premium prices in order to achieve that. So I get it if you're just starting out, you know, do the best you can with what you have, but make sure that even as you're doing the best you can, that you are doing the most premium that you can and what, what your resources will allow you to do because it does make a big difference when you are selling premium packages. All right, and the next strategy that you will want to master when it comes to attracting high ticket clients is you will want to master powerful perspectives, right? You need to share a powerful, powerful perspective. It is not just enough that you say that I'm a coach. It's not even enough that you say that I'm certified. And I say this as someone that sells a coaching certification, okay? That I'll be the first one to tell you, that is not enough. It's not even enough that you do have nice looking branding and that your packaging is together and all of this. You need to make sure that the meat and potatoes, right? The substance of what you are offering is not only good, but that it is unique. And so you want to make sure that you have a powerful perspective I call this your iconic insight. What is your viewpoint on the world? What is your unique perspective that you are offering to people that is different than what everyone else is saying? You need to lean into that. And if you're not sure what that is, you wanna spend some time finding that because how else are you gonna rise above the noise of everybody else in your industry who is offering the same thing? So whatever it is that you have conviction around, the perspectives that you have, maybe some of the you know challenging comments that you're willing to make that go against the grain in your industry, but you truly believe in them, that is a powerful perspective that yes, it will turn off some people, but it will call your people to you. And particularly if you are looking for those high ticket buyers, they are looking for people who are confident, who have a powerful viewpoint and are willing to share it with the world. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. If you're like, ah, I need help getting all this stuff together, especially that iconic insight piece. Again, I invite you to join me in my signature coaching program, The Next Big Name Coach, which will not only give you an accredited coaching certification, but it will help you come up with your own methodology. I did identify your own iconic insight. We also help you choose your niche and we come up with your coaching package for you. And then from there, we show you how to launch your coaching business from scratch. We even give you website templates, um, all sorts of things, different uh, social media templates, graphics, uh, email templates, just everything you need to get everything off the ground. This is definitely the program you wanna be in if that is your goal. And so if that sounds of interest to you, click the link below to learn more about it. And if you want to move forward, go ahead and apply. And if accepted, you'll be invited to an enrollment call with my enrollment team 
will walk you through the entire process. All right, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you loved it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you can't wait for my next YouTube video, make sure you are subscribed to my podcast, The Courtney Sanders Show on both iTunes and Spotify. And if you can't wait for my next YouTube video or my next podcast episode, make sure you are following me on both Instagram and TikTok. It's Courtney L. Sanders on both. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.